Craig Sager joins us with a special guest as the American plan of track and field continues from Madison Square Garden in New York City. Holds not only the indoor and outdoor marks in the shot put, but who in the last several years has easily outdistanced the field here at the Milrose Games. But in October, Barnes was suspended for two years after the prohibited drug methyl testosterone reportedly was found in his urine sample after a meet in Sweden. Barnes has tested negative for drug use 30 times since 1985, as well as several days before and after the meet. He maintains his innocence. However, the Athletic Congress upheld the suspension several days ago. They did, however, criticize the international procedures. Instead of competing here tonight, Barnes gave us his side of the story and his comments earlier by satellite. Well, it's, it's frustrating because obviously I, I am usually in full swing at this time of the year. Uh, my life's pretty much been upside down the last few months, and it's, it's definitely been the most testing uh, experience I've ever been through and the most frustrating. This is your chance. In your opinion, what actually happened? Okay, we've had a lot of conflicting testimony from the man who actually took my sample across the table. Uh, I don't know, okay, the numbers that were on the form were not on my toping form when I left. The only thing that keeps my sample secure are the seal numbers on the Envo pack, okay? Not the bottle inside, only the clip that goes on the outside zipper. Those numbers were not recorded on my form when I left. That is the only thing that secures the sample. When uh, my brother showed up in Sweden uh, to open the B sample, the numbers were not on his copy. They were on uh, the, the lab's copy. Uh, that, was, that was the first time that we had learned that. Uh, the, the man across the table from me, this Jan Hockfeldt, claims that he wrote the numbers on the papers later in the evening. Then later he testified that he wrote them the next morning. Uh, all of his testimony has been uh, conflicted with each other. And frankly, I don't even think he did it because the numbers don't look anything like the other handwriting on the form. No one has ever addressed that yet. We've asked the man to submit himself to a handwriting exam. We've gotten no response. Absolutely none. The suspension prevents you not only from competing here, but also in the 1992 Summer Olympics. There's no doubt the sport needs to be cleaned up. But why do you think you were singled out? I don't know that they singled me out. Uh, I don't know. I'm still not entirely sure who's responsible. You asked me a little while ago what happened. Uh, frankly, I feel like uh, the man at the lab, if anyone has actually tampered with it, Everything is, all of our, uh, our biggest complaint has gone t towards Hockfeldt, and I don't necessarily think he is, he is the man who actually tampered with the sample. I believe it, it happened in the lab in Sweden. Um, most people, even to this day, don't know. We've released, we've released all this stuff that this Mats Garley in the Sweden lab actually takes methyl testosterone. Uh, no one seems to know that, or uh, they haven't picked up on that. And I think that my forms arrived in the lab with no numbers on them, which means that he could have actually opened it up tampered with the sample, resealed it with a new clip, and then wrote, wrote the latest numbers down on, on his form and tried to pass them off as the original when my brother arrived. Uh, that's completely possible, and it's been totally ignored. Barnes added that he has one more appeal before his options run out. We'll keep you updated on the story. But now for the men's 500, let's go back to Dwight and Craig.